In the last two videos, we looked at creating a 3D text object using mObject, as well as decorating it using the materials area of mObject, creating a series of lights in our scene, attaching the mFlare lens generator plugin to those lights, and creating some animated flicker to both the front and back lights. This video is going to be all about animating our scene. So the first part of the scene is just going to deal with a basic camera animation. And I want that basic camera animation to be approximately three seconds long. Whenever I break down an animation, I always ask myself, do I have something working for myself? And I do at this case, I have the camera in the position where I want it to land. So I've positioned my playhead at three seconds. And right away, I'm going to go to my camera controls into the properties tab and add a couple keyframes to both position and rotation. You see these little diamond shapes popping up here at the side. I'll click to add keyframes to all position values, as well as click to add keyframes to all rotation values. And that's at the three second mark in my timeline. I'm going to move to the beginning of my project, and I want this text to come from off screen. I want to, I want to fly from off screen to on screen. So I'm going to drag the Z position to move the text forward until it clearly passes the screen. Now, I might want to stop for a second. Sometimes what I like to do is just add a little bit of rotation to the camera. So I'm going to, at this point, just rotate it a little bit in Z space, as well as in Y space. And after I've rotated in Z and Y, I'm going to now push its Z value so this text is completely off screen. Cool. So just to sort of show you what we did, I'm just going to take my playhead and move through that animation. And you can see my text has a nice reveal. My only problem is, is near the end of the animation, the text is kind of in a linear movement. And that has to do with the rotation values that I've adjusted. So I want to adjust that. So rather than have a linear type of rotation, I wanted to ease into those final values. So with my camera selected in the Layers tab, I'm going to go down here and activate my keyframe editor. It's this button here on the bottom right. I'm going to give it a click. And I can see all the keyframes for my camera. I'll expand this Windows view. And off here to the right is a handy button to fit my keyframes to the window. It proves here that my position Z is already set to a nice ease in Bezier movement, but the rotation values are on a straight linear path. I'm going to select those last two keyframes on the linear path, control or right click, and choose it to ease into its final value to create a nice curved slope. Now, since this is animating off screen, I'm not too worried about it easing into position, but you can sort of see if I drag my playhead across the screen, it comes to a nice or resting position. Great. So now I have my intro in. That was a simple camera move to animate my lovely 3D extruded text with M flare attached to several lights flickering in space. As a final animation, I would like this fusion text to go off these letters to go off screen one letter at a time. So inside my project, I'm going to select M object and go to the generator tab. And you'll see that layer one is actually the M object text layer because we only have one layer in the scene. So I'm going to hit the disclosure pri uh, triangle to reveal its properties. And under its properties are a bunch of uh, one of them is text behavior. And when I click the disclosure triangle for text behavior, first off, it has a bunch of presets in this category that we can load up that come to us from motion. So you can select one of these and automatically have an automatic animation. But instead of choosing one of these, I'm going to go to the animation menu and change it from auto to manual. So this is going to allow me to manually animate my text. What I like to animate is the Z position of each of these characters. And how I do that is above the controls field is a format section. Click the disclosure for uh, format. Click the disclosure triangle for position and let's enable it. I want the position of this text to be something like at the very end, 5,000. And right away, uh, you'll notice that something happens that's undesirable. My text goes away. It's completely off screen. But I'm going to switch that ar around by con changing the control values of the text behavior. So right now, my text is at a position of 5,000 pixels, and these position values aren't keyframable. So I'm going to click the disclosure triangle to close that and go down to my control section. What I'm interested or what I had come up when I had a manual control is a progress value. I want the progress at the very beginning of this animation to be set to 100, which means 
there has been no progress made on this text, right? So at nine seconds, there's no progress made. So I'm going to click and add a keyframe to the progress value to lock in the value of 100 at this place in time. I'm then going to move my playhead to the very end of my project, and I'm going to change that progress value to zero. And what you can see is between nine seconds and zero is that these letters one by one animate off screen using those same text behavior values that are available for any type of text inside of motion. motion. It's now just available with 3D extruded text inside of M object. To change a little bit of this animation, I would prefer these letters to leave the screen instead of from right to left, from left to right. So I'm going to go into these direction property. Instead of having it set to forwards, I'm going to change it to backwards. And you can now see that one by one, these letters animate off the screen. If you wanted a couple to animate on screen at once, we could increase the spread value so that multiple characters are affected. You can now see that if I just sort of move to this point of the screen where the F is taking off, I'll increase the spread just a little bit. And now not only is the F affected, but the U is affected at the same time as well. Finally, I'm going to change the speed of this animation to add a little bit of easiness as the text leaves the screen. And there you have it. You can see here with my animation this beautiful camera reveal of my fusion text, followed by the flickering of my lights, and a character-by-character -character text animation for my fusion text to exit the screen. That's 3D extruded text exiting the screen. So from creating a simple 3D extruded text object to manipulating mflare lights with an object, we're able to create a lovely text 3D animation inside of motion using mObject and mflare.